Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing my second dose of Simsia. Um, so every two weeks is what my dosage is right now. Uh, after my first dosage, I felt uh, within, I would say, the first two, three days, a huge amount of relief. My fatigue really was the big thing that was lifted and I was able to sit down um, without having that really intense like tailbone pain. Um, just my hips were less achy, the yeah, side joints were feeling pretty good. Um, I've been able to uh, kind of keep up with activities and stuff like that. I would say for the last three day days though, um, I've definitely been experiencing a lot of inflammation in my hips, um, down through my legs, mainly at night, but I noticed yesterday also, um, it started quite early in the day, but that's kind of to be expected as I'm uh, coming up to my injection day, and this is only my second injection. Um, I was actually speaking with my Simsia nurse and she said on this medication 16 weeks is sort of what they look at to see um, if people are having any success with it. So that, the fact that I'm having success already is a really good sign. I'm really needing this dosage today. Uh, last night it was just, yeah, it was a lot of pain. I was in the bath for a while, you know, I'm trying to stay away from any kind of NSAIDs because they really just they upset my stomach and you know that just sends me into a whole other you know tailspin of, of dealing with symptoms with that so I try my best to not resort to that if I don't have to and typically it doesn't really give me any relief to begin with so it's kind of pointless but we're gonna go ahead and get to my injection let's go this week also we're going to be doing both injections in my stomach. My first dosage of Simdia, I was super impressed with the size of the pen and how painless it really was. Um, th that is like a big thing when you're doing self-injections on a pretty regular basis is sort of the dread leading up to it. Um, especially with the Cosentix, it was always, you know, I was looking forward to having that pain relief, but you know, it, even though it's, it's quite minimal the pain that does happen it's still like who wants to do that that's not really enjoyable to feel that pain and the sting and I'm kind of squeamish anyways with giving myself injections so the fact that um it was so simple with the Simsia pen it was it made me look forward to injection day even more so I have again both my pens here Today is one of the warmest days that we've had so far here. Um, it's really humid out. I'm actually going to take my kids down to the beach after I do this injection. One thing I do have to say is although I'm in, I would say, like a pretty high amount of pain, I have to say though, even though I'm in like a lot of pain physically, the fatigue has not yet really crept back in, which is amazing. I mean, it sucks to be in pain all day long, um, but the fatigue is a killer, especially with being a mom with really little kids. Um, you know, it, it starts to affect your thinking. You you can fight through a little bit of pain or a lot of pain depending who you are um, but the fatigue is just one that I really I can't deal with and the fact that that has not returned yet is awesome and I, I really hope that keeps up So that one was very painful. <laughs> um, I don't know if maybe I did it a little bit too much on, a, on an angle. I think I got a little too confident there. Um, that one was, yeah, that one was a little stingy. And we have a good amount of blood with that one.
I generally don't bleed too much with injections. Okay, let's hope that... And I would say today... This has probably been out of the fridge for an hour, if not a little more than that. Um, and like I said, it's very warm here today, so this this should be at a good temperature to inject. I think I may have had my placement maybe a little off. Okay, this one not so bad, but still more pain than last time. That one wasn't too bad. Um, the first one, like I said, the circumference of what is on this pen is much larger than than with the other. Um, and I know that you do need to go in on a proper angle or else you're kind of twisting a little bit and that can cause some pain and that's where mainly my bruising comes from. But here we go. This is now, so we're now two weeks from start from my original start date on Simsia. So another two weeks, we'll do another two pens, and then we will be on a regular dosage of one pen every two weeks. And um, I've been keeping a list. The only list of symptoms that I've had, I've sort of mentioned, there was one that I forgot in my last video, and that was um, I had a hot flash on Saturday morning, and my injection date is Thursday. Thursday evening is when I injected. And Saturday morning I had a hot flash. Now I read that this could be a, um, a side effect of Simsia, but it also could be a billion other things too. So I mentioned it to my nurse and it hasn't happened since, but it was something that I kind of took note of. I was feeling perfectly fine. Um, I was just sitting down, I was doing my makeup and all of a sudden like a hot flash hit me. Um, but it, I mean, like, it could be a number of things. It could be anxiety. It could just be a change in temperature. I don't know. But I did take note as I thought it was a little bit weird. And um, I'm going to continue to um, document any kind of side effects or how things are going. But I I'm, I'm super impressed so far, especially with my activity level. Yesterday, my pain was, at the end of the day, was skyrocketed. And I still was able to make... I want to say over 10,000 steps um, and I know that doesn't really equate to a whole lot um, of physical exercise or you know having cardio or anything like that but just the fact that most days when my fatigue hits and my pain hits I need to be laying down and I can't be up and moving and I'm generally not even getting close to that um, it is really it's really comforting to me to know that I have this disease that's never going away that there is no cure for um, it's treatable to an extent but the fact that if I can be on a medication like this that allows the fatigue to not creep in and that I can still push through and although it's crappy that I'm in pain yeah but at least I can still live my life to an, an extent um, that I, I'm 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 feeling really grateful for that and I hope that is the case and that keeps up. Um, but I'll check back in with you guys probably a week from today to let you know if there's any more side effects, if I felt anything that I felt last time, um, and then otherwise I'll see you again for my next inject with me. Bye guys!